Hi, what's good, y'all? It's Quadine, that's ODNYC, and I'm here to answer some questions from Sound of the Future. I love you, 508. Uh, I'm from the Bronx. Everybody think I'm from Brooklyn for some reason. I don't, I don't know. Feel me? That's probably just the vibe. Um, I do interviews, skits, all that type of stuff, and I also do photography. Well, what what inspired me was like since I do photography and I'm usually like always around artists, I was like, why not just interview them? You feel me for fun and people liked it, so I just was like, keep going. For me, I just ask whatever's on my mind. Honestly, I don't really prepare because I never. It'd be random sometimes, like. Sometimes it'd be just artists just pop up out of nowhere and I, I ask them for a video, they jack it, we do it. Like, I don't really try to prepare for it. I'd be, feel me? I feel like my videos are more organic. I don't really try to do like too much crazy stuff or like I don't plan crazy stuff. It just happens in the video, facts. I feel like the organic ones are always good, but I know some people like, you know, their skits and stuff like, if it's a skit, then you feel me? I'm you feel me? I'm gonna tell them what to do. But if it's an interview, I just go in. I don't, I don't tell people the questions before. I just be like, we started. All right. Um. So with photography, so basically, like I started because like my girl, she wanted a photo shoot for her birthday, and I was like, why not? Like, let me do it. Like, so I got my cousin's camera, and then I got a background and all that, and then we did the shoot. After that, I was like, she was like, why you don't take it seriously? So I did, and then just started networking from there, and it just went crazy. Uh, I don't think I got a favorite person, but like the craziest photo shoot I probably ever did, I took pictures of the rock on shrooms. That was probably the craziest thing I probably did. But I be there's a lot of artists. Like I I can't pick my favorite because I haven't took pictures of my favorite artists yet. So yeah, definitely J Cole. I feel like I want to get to the point where like I can travel, like just travel and then help people and like, you know, help my family and then help whoever else I could help, you know, and just travel the world and just have live freely, you know, because I know everybody want to branch out and just explore new things. That's that's kind of my goal. I feel like New York is where it's at. I feel like this is where everybody comes to make content. But it's like I feel like once you like know you good in New York, I feel like that's when you guys start like moving around. LA, Atlanta, I would love to make content in LA because it's like, I feel like everybody's more chill in LA. Like New York is like so fast paced. You, the artist is like, like it's on a rush. It's on a time crunch in LA. They just, they just out there vibing, you know? Honestly, it's kind of a mix of both. I feel like it's kind of evens out with both because I I feel like I do both of them for fun, but then at the same time, I know it's business too at the end of the day. So like either way, I'm still making money. If it's not from photos, it's from interviews. So there's so many interviews that I never thought I would get, but I got them probably memorable. Damn. All right, I would say, I would say Stephen Curry's mom is definitely one of them. I would say YG Marley is is another one. And um, probably like Sleepy and Chef, they, they cool. They cool too. I don't know, there's too many. I can't even, bro, there's too many of them. I can't, you feel me? Um, I mean, like if I was to be like in the music industry, I feel like it would just be more like instruments and like probably like DJing or producing, like stuff like that. But I wouldn't like be, you know, on a mic, like going crazy. Nah, hell no. Nah. I'm more of like a... You feel me? I'll be in the background. Like, if you see me, you see me. If not, then I'd be chilling. Like, I try not to bother nobody. I'd be out everybody way. Like, even these YouTube videos, you'll never see me in a YouTube. I just, I'll be there, but like, I'll be in the cut. Like, yeah. Yeah, word. That's, that's definitely a thought. Before I even started the interviews, everybody was telling me, like, why not, like, why not do clothes? Like, why not, you feel me, make your own brand? Cause I know if I was to start a brand right now, I'm not giving you no no bullshit. Like I'm not printing nothing on no shirt and selling that. Cause that's like, I feel like that's the basic, like that's just beginner stuff. Like I want my stuff to be like manufactured, make sure everything is on point. Probably like take a year, figure out everything, go through like five, six designs, sample them. And then when I feel like I got the right design, then 
then we shoot from there, you feel me? But clothing brand is coming soon, so. I feel like interviews, I don't know. I feel like I've been doing interviews for a minute. I'm not even gonna lie. I just started posting like crazy because I was doing interviews since like high school. I just stopped like four, four or five years ago. Then I just stopped and then I made a whole new platform and I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna do it. But I feel like content in general and just growing up in New York, it does play a role because it's like there's no one like New Yorkers. You know, feel me? Everybody want to come to New York. It's like when you live here, it's like, you already know the experience, so it's like, I don't know. I feel like we just mad funny. Like, we just funny as fuck, like, word. Yeah, I learned, like, with, like, interviews and photography, I learned that, like, you gotta look at it more, like, of a business standpoint than, like, a friendship standpoint. So I be having, like, it'd be hard for me to, like, you know, control the two, because I'm, like, I'm a chill person. Like, I give my, you feel me? Like, I just met you today, and I would, like, Pull up again if you need me to, you feel me? But like, I give like 110 when it comes to everybody and me. And I know it's not the same for everybody that meets me, you feel me? So I gotta learn to like, something is business and something is like the difference between business and friendships. That's like what I'm still learning. Like, I, like sometimes that should be hurting too. So it's like, I be trying, you know? I don't know, I be stressing, I'm not gonna lie. I be stressing, but like, I be having people around me that be knocking sense into my head. Like, yo, you gonna be good. Like, just cause this happened don't mean something 10 times better is not gonna happen. It's like, and that's what happens every time. Once you feel me, you lose somebody, somebody even 10 times better comes back or comes in your life, you know? And opportunities, same with opportunities. You lose one, you get a bigger one, you know? My girl, she been there since the beginning. She's really the one that's helping me. My son, Danny, like, um, Danny Rose, he been, you feel me? That's my son, show out DJ. Um, my son, Sway, they all chill people, you feel me? They all they all support me heavy too, so it's like, you know? Um, I mean, it depends on the video and the person, cause like, I honestly just let people feel how they feel. I really don't really take people's opinions like to the heart, like I just, it is what it is, but like for viewers, I just hope, I just be trying to tell them like, even if somebody was to DM me, like I just tell them like, yo, just be consistent. Your shit go jump once bro. Once you start and don't stop, somebody gonna see you. You post six videos a day, somebody gonna be like, who is this person that keep, then they gonna check you out, you know? I feel like being consistent and then like having to go outside a lot too. Like I know there's some content creators that make content from home, you know, but like, me, I go out, I'm always, I always gotta be outside. Like that's where my content is, outside content. So it's like, I gotta just be outside every day or like if I, I try to stack up through the week so that I, don't, I don't have to go outside every day. And I feel like it's harder for me cause I post every single day. It's not like somebody who posts two times a week, three times a week, you know? Um, I got a couple crazy interviews coming up. I, I don't know if I wanna say them, but I know it's gonna be some heat. Y'all gonna. You feel me? It's gonna be some heat. Yeah, just keep going. Keep growing, you feel me? You know, there's always gonna be good and bad people on your side. You just gotta clear your mind and focus on the main goal. Don't tell nobody what you got up here, just do it. Cause before you know it, you speak it, somebody already made the video about it. So, you feel me? Do what you gotta do. I love all of y'all, I appreciate all of y'all that be watching my videos. Be watching his videos. Make sure y'all tap that subscribe button. You feel me? My son going crazy. I love you 508.